Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. And in this tutorial, I'm showing you how to move or enable the labels above the input fields in the Divi contact form. So by default, the labels, if you want to call them that, are like placeholder text. They're inside like the name field, the address field, the message field. They're inside there. But in a lot of contact forms, they're actually shown above the field. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Over on the written tutorial, I do have a before and after. It'll look like that. So you can kind of see, you know, by default, name, email, message inside, and then here above like that. What we're doing is using CSS code to, you know, enable this label. It's actually there in the code. We're just enabling it. And um, it's it's pretty simple. So let's let's just do this quick. Step one: take this CSS class here, PA Contact Form Labels, and copy that. And you can see where we're going to put it in this screenshot here. So we're going to put it inside the module right here. So I'll just go over to the site, go to the Advanced tab, CSS ID and Classes, right here where it says CSS Class. Make sure that you put that in there just like that and that's it you can save that all right step two is the actual code snippet now we have it right here you can just click copy like that and now you can take it and paste it into your website if you you know are using a child theme you can put it in there or in your theme options in divi i have a link here about that if you're unsure now for me i'm i'm just going to uh show you quickly in my demo so I'm using my Chrome extension called user CSS all right now I am going to paste and you can see instantly everything changes now that's because there's three snippets that I've added one is saying to display this label block say so we're saying to display it and then the other one is hiding the one that's inside the field so it's a little confusing but in Divi there are actually two labels and one is inside the field and the other is above and we are simply saying to enable the one above hide the one inside and I just had to add this text area because I missed that I had input and now I added this new line text area I'll update the code what we did here is this one here is actually hiding the placeholder so if I did not have this here, you could still see that placeholder. That's different than the label. Now, what I've done is made it the color, which is EEE, -E -E, of this field. Now, if you change the background color of the field, then you would also want to change the, the color of this placeholder. So we've just chosen to do that to make it look nice, you know, so that you're not seeing duplicates, essentially. You're not seeing name, name, email, email. All right, so that's what that's doing. The color of the background field, we're matching it, the placeholder. All right, and then the last thing here, if you want to style that label text, I have a little bonus snippet here. You can copy that. So let's say you put that here. You could change this to whatever. You know, let's say you make it red or, you know, you make it really big. You know, that kind of thing. You can do whatever you want with that. But that's just like a little bonus if you want that. Now we do have this setting in our contact form helper plugin. So if you're a member of our Divi Adventure Club or if you already own this plugin, I would definitely recommend using the plugin method because it's really easy. Here you can see how simple it is. You go in and here's a setting, show label on the front end. And then you can, it'll just show up there. You know, you choose to show or hide. Look, we even have hide placeholder. You can have a custom placeholder. You can. Um, put your label on the left side. You can add a description above or below the field. Lots of settings in the plugin. In fact, I think there's getting close to 100 settings in the plugin. And we also have design settings, like full design settings like that. So if you're really um, into that, you know, this plugin has everything that you need. So that's two methods, either just free using the code snippet or if you already have our plugin. And that's it for this tutorial. I do hope you enjoy it. And if you did, let me know. Um, if you have ideas for new tutorials, you can always reach out to us. And we do this every week. So we have a new Divi tutorial 
um, coming all the time. So if you subscribe, that's what you'll be getting here. All right, we'll see you all in the next video.